Hey guys, Mr. Bowman here. Point seven calculus methods. We're going to look at the achieved questions from that 2017 exam here. So let's get straight into question seven. Um, and our question is a function is given by fx equals x to the power of 5 plus 3x squared minus 7x plus 2. And our question asks us to find the gradient when x is equal to positive 1. So we've been given the original function. What we're looking to do is we're going to find the gradient function. We can then substitute to evaluate what the gradient is at that particular point. So we'll start this by writing down our original equation. So that's x to the power of 5 plus 3x squared minus 7x plus 2. We now need to differentiate that function to find the gradient function. So that's going to become 5x to the power of 4 plus, we're going to go 3 times 2 is 6, x, um, we're going to drop the power to 1, oh, that's invisible, so we'll get rid of that, and then we're going to go minus 7, we can ignore the plus 2 part of that, so that's our differentiation, we're now going to substitute, because we've been told that x is equal to 1, so f dash 1, so that's going to be 5, 1 to the power of 4, plus 6 times 1, minus 7, that's going to become 1 to the power of 4 is 1, times that by 5, we'll stay at 5, plus 6 minus 7, 5 plus 6 is 11, minus the 7 gets you at 4. So when x is equal to 1, you're going to have a gradient of 4 for that original function that you were given. Okay, we're now on to question 8, and this is a fairly common achieved question where they've given us a graph and we're going to sketch the original function or the original function. So let's get that down, question number 8. Um, we've got the original function, and we've been asked to graph the gradient function. So it's really important. Pay attention to what you've been asked to do and what graph you've been given. Um, so this one here, same bit of information that we did in the previous video. It, currently, it's a negative parabola. So I'm just making up an equation, negative x squared. If I differentiated that, that would be negative 2x. So what that tells us is it's going to be a negative line, so a negative straight line, there we go, negative and a straight line. The next bit of information, well, on this graph, can we see any information about the gradients? And whenever you see a turning point, you know something about the gradient. So at this point here, we know that y dash, or the gradient, is going to be equal to zero. So what that tells us is at this point here, down there by the x-axis, we're going to have a negative line passing through it. So we've been asked just to roughly sketch it. So what I would do is I'll get that point, and I would have a negative line going down like that. So that there would be my sketch of it. Um, a few people don't like the uncertainty of this method, so what you could do is you could actually use the gradient or the parabola functions we learned earlier in the year, you could find the exact equation of the parabola, you could then differentiate that parabola and then sketch the derivative if you wanted to as well. But that, for me, that's a bit time consuming, particularly when it's an achieved question and you've only been asked to sketch it and they're not looking for that certainty. But there we go. The, so for achieved, you would have had to get it through that particular point and it would have had to be a negative line as well. Okay, we're now on question number nine, and the gradient graph, so we've got the gradient function is being represented by that equation, and the original function goes through that point 1, 3. Find the original equation of this. So our starting point, let's write down the gradient function that we were given. So that there is equal to 6x squared minus 2x plus 4. When you're trying to find the original function, you must integrate. So we're going to go fx, and we're going to integrate by going the coefficient divided by the power plus 1, and then x power plus 1. We're now going to do the same for the next expression, coefficient divided by power plus 1, and then x power plus 1, plus 4x plus c, the last two bits being a bit easier, looking nicer. We're now going to simplify, so 6 divided by 3 is 2, so it's going to be 2x cubed minus x squared plus 4x plus c. So that there's our derivative, also we had our derivative, we've now got our original function, the annoying part is we've got the plus c, 
So we're going to need to substitute another point to find out what that is. Luckily, we were told 1, 3 is a point on this graph. And that tells us an x and a y value. So we know x is equal to 1. We know y is equal to 3. So we're going to substitute both of those into the gradient function or into our antiderivative. And then we're going to get our original function. So if x, don't forget that there is y. So we can get rid of that and put in the 3. So that means 3 is going to be equal to 2 times 1 cubed minus 1 squared plus 4 times 1 plus c. We're now going to evaluate everything. So 3 is going to be equal to, so 1 cubed is 1 times 2 stays at 2. 1 squared is minus 1 plus 4 plus c. 2 minus 1 is 1 plus 4 gets us to 5. So that means 3 is going to be equal to 5 plus c. We're then going to go minus 5 minus 5. c will result in a negative 2 value. We're then going to put that together into our final function. So that c is now going to be put back into the gradient function, which we differentiated to find that original function or the antiderivative. So that means f x is going to be equal to 2x cubed minus x squared plus 4x minus 2. So that c is gone from the integration, and the 2 is, or negative 2 is now in. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. These were the 2017 Achieve questions. Hopefully you found this video helpful. 